John Russell, uh, your thoughts after that encounter? Yeah, really disappointing night. Um, you know, to lose at home to anyone, uh, three 0 and not lay a glove on them is hugely disappointing. I, think I just don't think we performed at all tonight. Um, it's one of those moments where you have in the in the season with a lot of injuries at the moment and people out, but I still felt the players we selected were good enough to get a result and the performance is very flat. Um, you know, as one as a manager, you, you know, you want to play a certain style and um, you know be creating chances, scoring goals, but ultimately the, the basics of football where you want people to get tied to players, win second balls, show an energy and a desire and to get around the pitch and we didn't do that tonight. Um, Shelburne did it uh, all night, put us under pressure and we made it easy for them too many sideways backward passes didn't punch balls through the lines but um, you know we need to regroup quickly uh, this league it's tough every week there's no easy games and we'll have a big one now next week against Cork in terms of the performance uh, you did have some chances I know uh, towards the in, in the second half maybe two chances where you could have caught them unaware is uh, one strike that just fizz past the post and uh, Keelan Barlow a little bit of Ingenuity from him from a set piece from long range that caught Connor Kearns almost caught him out. Yeah, yeah, well, it was 2 0. Yeah, Bogdan had a, had a chance to flew past the post, but ultimately, look, we didn't do enough tonight. Um, we didn't cause Shelburne any problems. I don't think Connor Kearns had a say to make, really. Um, and for us at home, it's hugely disappointing. You want to be trying to win your home matches, and you know, for us, no chances on goal, no, no major shots on target, and you know, to concede three goals, really poor night, and it's important now for the group that, you know, we have to come back into training and really show what we're made of now. You know, this is a testing moment for the group. You know, with a lot of new players, a lot of injuries, and it's important that we reset and go again, and, and the real reaction against Cork. You mentioned the injuries a couple of times. Uh, there's a lot of players out. Any prognosis on some of them? I believe Gary Buckley potentially not that far away from a return from an ACL injury. Uh, Gary's doing really well on his rehab at the moment. Yeah, he's back doing a little bit, uh, kind of warm ups and stuff with the group, which is great to have him back because it's a lonely time when you're out and, and you're doing your gym work. So, look, it's great to have him back jogging around on the grass and being out with the lads. Um, but in terms of the other injuries, you know, it's case by case. We'll, we'll be hopeful that maybe two or three could be available for, for next week. And we just have to be careful um, because when the players do come back, you want them to be back and, and back for good. And obviously, Cork next weekend. How important is that game now? That's huge. Um, Every game is, is massive in this league. You know, we've lost two games in a row now, which hasn't happened so far this season. Um, we've always had a good reaction after defeat. Tonight was really poor performance, and I'll be looking for a massive reaction on Friday. Well, thanks very much for a very honest interview this evening, and best luck next weekend. Cheers. Thanks, Bradley.